Hey everybody, it's Paul. In this episode, I'll show you a new method here. Somebody chimed in, I was using my drill. I'll still use the drill, but this is the triangle brush. I had the, it comes in a two pack, so I had an extra one left over. And I just used two of the rods so that it's shorter. And I'm using it as a scrub brush. And I think OxyDry, Robin, mentioned that, uh, you know, being on your knees with the drill and all that and the mitt um, was not good for people my age or our age. So anyway, I thought about it and I thought, let me try this today. So I pre-sprayed the stairs real good with the Green Dragon and then I'm scrubbing it in. And remember, the Green Dragon will uh, dry down to a crystal. So even if there was anything left in there, it would dry to a crystal and be removed but I'm gonna show you the extra step. Um, so what I'll do, or the three-step process with this is you pre-spray your stairs, obviously vacuum, vacuum the stairs real good, and then um, pre-spray them, and then scrub them clean, and then I have a, a microfiber, you know, I was using those microfiber mitts, and going back and just kind of drying and cleaning the stairs, and they were just coming out beautiful. And so for this process, what I did was I have a car wash uh, wand that has the microfiber head on it. I'll show it to you when I get to that level. And I just, it's got a telescopic wand so you can adjust to uh, shorter like this. And then you just go back and mop up all the dirty uh, solution, suspended solution. And it came out beautiful. You'll see here in just a moment. I do have the Harbor Freight uh, handheld rotary, which is awesome. I use that for furniture, and I can use it for stairs as well. It's pretty, it's a, I think it's 1,000 RPMs to 3,000 or 3,500 RPMs, and even at 1,000 RPMs, it tended to dig up stuff that was, I mean, buried and flip it up on the wall board, so... I started using the drill so I had better control of where I was cleaning. The drill with the brush, and it's cordless, so that was awesome. And then um, I would just use the hand mitt. Now, when you get to the landing, getting down on your hands and knees to hand mitt the entire landing was kind of hard, you know, the in between the stairs. So, anyway, I wanted to try this out today and uh, see if this might be a method that would work good it's two simple two simple tools you just get a scrub brush and if you can have a telescopic handle so you can do it a little shorter makes it easier to really scrub them clean and then um i think they're on amazon eight dollars or at walmart you can get uh this next tool that you're about to see and i will be showing the entire video uh today this was a very big home. You see, it's got the same microfiber like my mitt. And it's telescopic, so you can extend it or shorten it. And for this job, I decided it would be good to extend it just a little bit. And then it is a little rigid at first. I think what I'll do in the future is kind of get it wet and wring it out. Because when I get further down the stairs, it starts to pick up a lot of the moisture while it's cleaning. And then it just slides across real easy. But it is clearly cleaning. Obviously, these stairs were not filthy, but they did have um, some traffic on them. And being that beige color carpet, you could see the soil. And it definitely cleaned it. There are a little bit of wear patterns here and there, but that's to be expected. I was quite pleased with the method. It's actually really simple. And like I said, I was using the Auric Orbiter, but I just didn't feel like it was doing as good as me getting down there and um, scrubbing it with the drill or like you just saw me do with the brush. I can put a little more force where needed, the bull nose and if there's any spots. And... You know, it's a simple, it's no, non-mechanical, so you don't even have to have a battery. You don't have to have a power cord. You just simply spray it, scrub it, 
and then mop it up with the microfiber. So, simple process. I would imagine on, you know, probably really, really filthy carpets, I'd just use the drill on the bullnose. It's cordless. Just zoom over it and then scrub the rest of the areas. And for Robin at OxyDry, who mentioned <laughs> being on your hands and knees, there you go. Solve, problem solved, right? That's what we do. We, <laughs> us longtime carpet vets, we got to figure out the easy way to do things, but yet still effective. So there you go. And in today's video, I, I will mention I used the uh, Koblenz. I was starting out, I was going to use my 175 and uh, a scrubbing pad and, pre and use the shower feed and then come back and hit it with the, uh, what is it, the Iron Man. But I had my wife with me today helping out because we got, ugh, we got swamped. I got my partner out doing work and then me and her doing uh, two big $1.5 million homes. This is the first one. But uh, anyway, the plunger, and I know that speaking of Robin again, he mentioned putting a valve. I just ordered the valve. But I ended up putting the machine in and I poured a, only a small amount of solution in the tank and my wife noticed it was just flooding out on the uh, wood floors. And in this home, I was like, mm, no, we're not going to even deal with it. So I just emptied it out and decided I'd use the Koblenz. But look at that. Beautiful work, Polly. And I haven't even raked it yet, so wait till I rake it. Beautiful. Like I say, this is scrubbing all that suspended soil. You can see right there, look at that. Took it right out. So, the, another, another carpet cleaning invention. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. This. <laughs> but hey, whatever works, right? And I am going to, if anybody knows where you can order replacement heads for this, man, I'll tell you, me and my wife both searched Google, Amazon, and they don't have the replacement heads. They have just the entire unit. I mean, they're only $8, but I was thinking maybe buying a three-pack or a five-pack of the microfiber um, pads that go on this. So if you happen to be watching this, you know, auto detailer maybe, or you've been familiar with these, um, and chime in in the comments and let me know where to pick up the additional um, pads for it. I'd love to have extra pads. So beautiful. I may even try this, you know, on the traffic areas in front of the couch. Spray it real good, scrub it with the brush, and then mop it up immediately with the microfiber and then still come back and go over it uh, pad cap it like normal so well i'll put the video up later of the entire job i just thought i'd share this um, stair technique it actually was painless and it was beautiful so anyway there you go one more quick shot Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for the full video. <laughs> See you soon.